Hey friends, so today I'm going to share with you some of the things you might not know about in Stardew Valley 1.6. Do take note, but there's lots of spoilers here. So let's get started. The first one is we can now relocate the farmhouse around the farm. So I didn't notice this right away until I bought pet bowls for my new pets. You can have multiple pets already. So we don't have to use multiple cabins just to have a cabin near Marnie that we can sleep on. When you're doing a, you know, when you're farming play in the beach, you can also do it in any farm. So it's not just a Meadowlands feature. Same thing with other stuff like the shipping bin. Unfortunately, we cannot disturb our spouse corner and relocate Elliot's plants or Sebastian's motorbike. Speaking of pet bowls, we can only adopt a new pet if we have already maxed out the hearts of our current pet. After that, we're gonna receive a letter from Marnie and that's the only time where this option to adopt a pet shows up and we can buy more pets. Many cats as we want, more than three. I thought it's the, the maximum is three, but like it's unlimited. So we can check the status of our pets through this animal tab over here in the middle. Then we can also already buy pets even though we don't have pet bowls yet. Although it's advisable that we buy enough pet bowls or else they're gonna be mad. Like I only bought pet bowl for Coco Jumbo and forgot to add another pet bowl for a third one for Bantai. So if you're tired of waiting for Marnie to go back to her shop from standing in front of her microwave even though 100% sure she saw you standing there and wait there for the whole afternoon then this one is for you it's called the animal catalog once you have this even though Marnie is away you can always buy adopt pets or even buy supplies from her shop just open the book and learn how it's done and voila you won't feel frustrated anymore in going all the way down there you can also buy pet related stuff from marnie such as this cat condo dog house or rather i want to call it turtle house coco jumbo prefers staying here instead of the dog next our pets with max hearts sometimes give us gifts i was shook when my cat dropped a snail and sometimes fish <laughs> out of nowhere so that's really cute so i think that's the default one if you have a pet cat i don't know yet what are the gifts or drops from dog or turtle because i just adopted them but we'll see later on we also have different varieties of cabin aesthetic now at least on the outside and the inside is still the usual basic cabin but we can redecorate it but yeah in this save file i decided to go for the trailer look so pa may probably decide to sleep here and get in the bus earlier than 9 a.m i'm just kidding but i hope that's an option though or totally allow us to fully drive the bus i wish that's an option aside from that we can now put pearls and treasure chest in the fish tank to raise it up we don't have to settle with seaweeds anymore and whatever Sea creatures we stumble upon and decide to put in there. I wish I knew this earlier because I wasted a treasure chest that I got during Trout Derby. So did I sell that treasure chest for 5,000 gold like other players perhaps? Nope. What did I do? Accidentally give it to Elliot because I clicked on him as a joke. And I know he's not gonna accept it like our farmer's tools, but yeah. And speaking of treasure chest, it's now universally like gifts. So thankfully, Elliot didn't hate that. And well, except Linus, he, hates, he still hates that. And then some of the new furniture for Stardew Valley 1.6 are available through the furniture catalog. So I think this bountiful dinner table is a new one. If you just to have a certain vibe, like full on corporate with Georgia Mart furniture catalog. This is very funny, this terms and conditions over here, but I find the blue aesthetic pretty cute, except for this totally atrocious divorce-inducing Georgia Mart bed, because it, it would have been cool except for the large J at the middle. 
but with the power of money, it will be gone. There's also retro furniture catalog, which I love, by the way. I love this the most, especially because of this fireplace over here. That's where I got that. And also these new rugs and new wallpaper. So there's also another one, trash furniture catalog. So you're gonna have the ultimate fam trailer aesthetic. You have higher chances of getting that by going through the trash bins at least 50 times. Anyway, and still speaking about furniture, if your spouse is Elliot, actually, I'm just kidding. Even if your spouse isn't Elliot or Abigail or Sebastian or any musically talented Downey, you can buy this upright piano from the Magic Shop book during the Night Market Festival for oh, 900,000 gold. But if you want a more gothic aesthetic, then we have this alternative piano, the dark piano, and we can buy that from the Desert Trader for 999 pieces of gold. And if you're 14 hearts with your spouse, there's a huge chance that their portraits will be available for sale through the traveling cart and it's being sold for 30,000 gold. Every time I see that, I feel like, bruh, this girl is trying to take advantage of my Elliot obsession. Another thing, Ancient Doll finally has a use, yay! So it's not just something that will guilt trip you for what you did to, you know. So you can use this Ancient Doll to get a certain item, a certain special item. So you could get a doll by doing this and assuming that you have already unlocked the Witch's Hut or by going to the Desert Festival and buying this ancient doll from Jazz. Why she has that, I don't know. What we're gonna do with this doll, you're gonna go to the 100th level of the mines, the regular mines, not the skull cavern, just the regular mines. And then throw that ancient doll in the lava pit. Don't be alarmed if you see this some kind of ancient dragon or, or I don't know, but this creature will give you this faraway stone. And what are we gonna do with this faraway stone? Go to the wizard tower and Assuming that you have unlocked the basement where we can change appearance and also teleport to the witch's hut You can put this faraway stone to this new setup over here at the rightmost side And behold, this orange brain cell will hand you the most overpowered cute weapon of them all The Meow Mir uh, So I nearly thought this is similar to gloves where you can knock back enemies but it's actually it actually acts like a like a dagger similar to Elliot's pencil where you have a boost in speed although it doesn't have much damage compared to usual clubs uh, we get in the game but it's still awesome because of the speed boost I love using it in Skull Cavern and yeah I'm not scared anymore with this grid thingies you know because of that next speaking of mines we can now have a death kit which I'm super happy about. Like, it's so helpful. We can set it up overnight in the mine so we can continue mining the next day. Unfortunately, it's just a one-time thing though. It's alright. That's a balancing feature so it's not abusable. I initially got it as a reward during the trout derby but we can also craft it at forging level 8. Next is this secret note by Grandpa. So this refers to the new mastery cave which will reveal itself once you're farmer maxed out all level 10 in all areas but once you unlock that you have high chances of getting trinkets as drop from monsters to oh and also we have to choose combat mastery and it's super helpful if you love going to the mine so that's something that i look forward to extra because i see a lot of players ask about this so we can put food on the table even before the 1.6 update just right click on the table while selecting any items actually we can put there except our farmer's tools that's it for now thank you guys for watching like subscribe if you enjoyed this video and find it helpful and see you in the next video which is probably this one or this one